Hi, I'm Sean. And I'm Claire. And this is the fun guest bus. It's a Ford E350. Uh, it's got really low kilometers. I have to put in a chair for my girlfriend Claire <laughs> um, because all the other chairs were back there. So uh, custom fit to bolted to the floor. This is our kitchen area. Uh, we repurposed this uh, cabinet set from a winemaker. So we do uh, cooking. Uh, we've got a pull out thing here. We can chop the vegetables, the range. Uh, the pan goes into here. Um, we also have a small uh, indoor uh, camp stove uh, that we store in the back there if you're gonna make bigger meals. This was held all out of the bottle of wine, so the drawers are super deep. So we can hold uh, cutting boards, cork boards, Literally everything. Yeah, plates, lids, bowls, all the frying pans, pots, uh, those things are down here. We do have quite a bit of storage, so uh, we're not as minimalist as maybe a lot of other uh, van lifers are. And like Sean made, like handmade these cabinets, they're on an angle to keep everything like in the cabinet. So yeah, at so first, a bit of an angle up. So yeah, totally so it stays. In. in terms of the sink, uh, we got it from the house mm -hmm. that uh, we live in that um, they were renoing, and I was like, hey, can we use this? And they're like, yeah, just have it free. Um, Sean just put this in, it connects to a yeah, fresh water container. Fresh water container. This is the gray water below that catches everything. So it pretty much pops in, pops out. Yeah. Um, time. And this is just a pump to pump the water. Yeah. Uh, Got it off Amazon. Mm -hmm. Blackout curtains. Uh, black on the outside, turquoise on the inside. And I've also put oven mitt material. Um, in there and then I would pin here to keep it from moving but that way it uh, insulates and keeps the heat in uh, and the cold out. Lighting has also been a bit of a thing for us. These are just like metal hinges that are bolted. They're from Home Depot. Um, we are trying to think of something that when we're seated on the bench we don't get a light directly in the face. This is magnetic super easy these are rechargeable there's two of these ones and then uh, all you need is like a magnet strip so you just put it here uh, and then it lights the bathroom as well so it's so our little washroom um, it's just a Dometic, just, uh, Dometic toilet it's not a compostable but it works the same we as we say here, uh, we have a saying, so <laughs> it's only number one, only. Um, if number two, then, well, that happens, but yes. number one, usually. <laughs> um, so we have a gravity shower that hangs on these two hooks. So uh, you can rinse yourself off, take a shower. The water goes through a drain in the bottom and into a holding tank there. Yeah, the shower we got for free off Craigslist. Uh, Sean cut it. Um, so I guess what's uh, a really different, Sean did all the construction in his like 900 square foot apartment on the fourth floor that like had a working and non-working elevator. So, um, and then like parking uh, is uh, really hard in a 22 foot long vehicle. So sometimes um, when Sean was cutting the wood, you know, he'd be schlepping it from three blocks away going up four flights, four flights of stairs in like 30 degree heat, 30 degree Celsius heat and like making like one cut and then like going back down the stairs. Um, we, yeah, so we haven't had the privilege to work on a property um, that we can just like walk outside, walk back mm -hmm. and forth, have like the table saw right there doing all that. So there was half of a shower sitting on the balcony for <laughs> many months. <laughs> um, yeah. But it was free and it looks pretty great. So I had that on my car uh, going down the highway with my hazards on going like 60 <laughs> and I could just hear the wind going through uh, the drain, drain holes. It was like Whoa. Yeah. But yeah, fun. so it was quite the experience. We just have a cheap Craigslist $40 fridge. Uh, there's not too much in it. Some condiments. Um, but you can put an ice pack in there so it keeps it cold. Um, then I have a 
12 volt cooler that uh, hooks through in the back garage or it uh, plugs into a UBS cig uh, cigarette port here. Um, so we keep the ice packs cold in there and then we put them in there to keep the fridge cold um, for the time being. Yeah. Once the inverter is installed, uh, then the fridge can run on its own. So we made a little platform here just to put stuff, but if someone were to sleeping, uh, I put a cushion and then you have uh, a little bit more leg room. So it's two things in one. So these cushions were off my old couch, an extendo bench, as I like to call it. This so goes in and then comes out and also lifts up for extra storage. Um, just some knickknacks and then the curtain for the front and then there is a heater attached to the alternator that heats the bus while we drive or keep the engine on. Um, for now, in the meantime, I'd also like to hook it up to all the electronics in the back underneath the bed. Um, but for now, uh, we use a propane buddy heater. Um, also a uh, ceramic heater oh, yeah. that has a metal rod uh, in it. So you put candles, so I put uh, little tea lights uh, underneath for them so that it hits the metal and then the metal heats, the heat gets trapped in here and then the metal rod goes through, the heat gets trapped in here and then eventually this heats up really hot so then the heat is spewing out from underneath and from the top. Um, it also holds extreme heat and for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. So. So you don't want to leave the candle on overnight, you blow it out and all night it will give out some really nice heat. This is our bed. Um, I made it quite high for, she said earlier, the heat gets stuck in here and it's quite nice. Um, also because there's a safety panel that opens up and completely opens. So we can lie here and then look up at the stars. Um, we can put our foot here and get out onto the roof. Um, and it's always there. We don't have to make it like in a bench situation, which was my first um, wanting to, that's my first go-to was just to make a huge L-shaped bench and then have part of it, the back part pull out and then you would have your double bed. But that way you don't have as much storage in the garage. Um, in a bench, you would just have walking space. And I thought that there's enough walking roomy area in here that we could keep our fixed bed and then have a garage mm -hmm. to hold all the extra gas tanks, some propane, uh, some food if we need it. Um, so there's 205 amp hour batteries um, attached to a, just your typical electrical system. Um, eventually the solar charge controller will be here with solar panels on top and then everything connected to the batteries and also to the engine alternator for, we can you know start the engine, you can charge the batteries within 20 minutes. Um, it's just great backup in case it's a cloudy day. I've always been fascinated with it. I would take the bus to school and then in my imagination, I would just turn these buses into living spaces. Like why, why isn't this accepted? Why is, why is no one else doing this? And then, um, things happened in my life which took a turn, so, um, I went for it. I, I found this bus, uh, everything just, everything mm -hmm. happened so quickly and then it just seemed so natural that, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we just, we went for it. I used a lot of reclaimed material because I didn't, uh, I didn't want it to go to the landfill and plus it was going to save me the money. I'm spending money on a bus, now I can save money on the materials like the hardwood flooring, the sink, mm -hmm. um, a lot of the woods, um, that whole kitchen counter there was uh, the shower. So it justified to me spending more money on other things like good batteries and uh, mm -hmm. wiring and those kind of things like that. So I didn't have a lot of space to build things. So um, if I could reclaim it, it was already half built and it saved myself some time. and. Mm -hmm. You know, time is yeah. very important, so you know, I'd rather spend, 
going somewhere and traveling, um, even though the experience of building the bus was extrom like extraordinarily <laughs> amazing, like um, I wouldn't take it back. Like sometimes sitting here or sitting there, and, and I have a big grin on my face. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy. Well, also when I first built the bus and decided to buy it, um, I really was expecting myself to stay in it for summers, actually live in it for the summers, and then in the winters rent out say uh, uh, one suite but um Claire and I really <laughs> fell in love and hit it off yeah so that plan came to a halt um so we live in a small place now which isn't costing too much money for the two of us for the two of us yeah. um so plans change but now our goal is to get a small property mm -hmm. and um, put it there and then build a container house on top of the property while still having this um, and then we can still travel and we just want to mm -hmm. take off so it has future aspects we realized that we would maybe like for cost of living we would save like ten thousand dollars which is not that much money unfortunately so um, and that'd be like for both of us, like living together, we would save like 10 grand, like just over 10 grand. But then how much would we be spending? Cause we would need a gym membership for somewhere to, uh, for something to do for somewhere to shower. Neither of us can shower at our work. Um, you know, we would be spending more money going out because, you know, some nights you're not going to want to bust out the camp stove, like eat from a, you know, eat another can of tuna. Not that that's how we eat all the time uh, that uh it wouldn't necessarily be paying off um but we've talked about if we were to buy a condo that we could airbnb it stay in the bus go on adventure for a week or whatever so if i were to do it again um yeah I, the insulation would be more priority um like more just the floor i might have giving it the extra inch mm -hmm. um, on the insulation. Otherwise, just go and do it. And do it. Everyone has that point, that breaking point, and I did, and I had to just step away for a few days because there was time that I would work nine hours and then work for five hours and just do this constantly for two weeks. Sometimes I just wanted to give up and you, you just can't, you know? Mm -hmm. Just say, okay, tomorrow's another day. Mm -hmm. um, wake up with a fresh attitude and just keep going. Don't stop. Mm -hmm. My philosophy on life would be just to live it. Um, how many times I've done things in life and people said, no, that's not possible. Mm -hmm. um, it Just because they can't see it doesn't mean it can't happen. Um, sure. So I started building bikes, Frankenstein bikes, as I like to call them, which are now more uh, MacGyver bikes. But they all these people said the bikes wouldn't work that's not gonna happen um so when i bought this and people were like it's not gonna work it's not gonna happen um just do it um live it to you and do what you want to do mm -hmm. um and then tomorrow's a new day and so live it and be happy mm -hmm. that's, that's my philosophy mm -hmm. i think we're both definitely driven uh by happiness and like what we think will make us happy um, and living a life that we want to live and in this case um, doing the bus you know Sean got to make something and uh, and I'm fiercely proud of him for that um, and also like happy that I get to share this with him and we get to do we go get to go on adventures together um, also I am uh, I'm so scared of getting like run evicted or something from Vancouver. We have a backup plan, uh, but that's a sidebar. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think I think for both of us, it was just like it was a dream he had, and he followed it. Um, and uh, yeah, and also just like realizing like how much happier this would make both of us. Mm -hmm. um, and when you get stuck in the corporate world, and mm -hmm. you think big nice fancy job you know the house with the picket gate and then the marriage and then mm -hmm. you do all those things and you realize that's not wasn't for me that's not how mm -hmm. I wanted to live it's stressful um, it's 
to hold you back. So I'd say, you know, just be a little bit more free and do mm -hmm. what you want to do regardless of yeah. what anybody says. As, as cliche as it sounds, being true to ourselves. Um, but it is like being aware of the type of people that we are um, and knowing that's taking this on uh, is in line with that and helps us, you know, continue to live the life that we want. Um, whereas, you know, being saddled with like tons of debt and working jobs that we're not necessarily invested in um, or are too invested in, like whatever, um, that uh, it's just n not gonna, it's not for us. And yeah. people who just want to go out for adventures as well. Um, mm -hmm. You know, sporadically on a weekend, we can just pick up and go. Yeah. And just drive to a lake, you know, with, with our dog, and he loves the lake. So, you know, we just throw rocks in the lake with our dog, and yeah. it's just a good weekend. It's just no, yeah. you don't have to plan, you don't have to um, save up, nothing. You just get mm -hmm. up and go. Mm -hmm. So, adventurists as well. Yeah. And where can people find and follow your journey? They can find us at the Fungus Bus on Instagram. Uh, the, yeah, I think that's, we're just on Instagram. Yeah. For now. Yeah. For now.